everyone we will be studying now about hemophilus okay hemophilus we might have heard in our school days uh, something related with hemophilus is hemophilus influenza but apart from hemophilus influenza there is hemophilus ducrei and there are other types of hemophilus like hemophilus para influenza jinke bare mein humne kabhi nahi suna hai so we will be studying about all this today so first we will start with hemophilus ducrei theek hai ducrei ha theek hai fine so it is a it causes sancroid okay hemophilus ducrei causes aapka kya cause karta hai petrite causes sancroid that means genital ulcer and this is known as soft sore not hard sore hard sore humko dekhne milta hai syphilis mein if i am not mistaken okay and hemophilus ducrei kya karta hai it causes soft sore and the ulcer is painful painful genital ulcer theek hai samajh mein aaya aapko hemophilus ducrei mein kya hota hai causes sancroid and it is soft sore and the genital ulcer is painful genital ulcer syphilis c less is there or less is there means painless theek hai painless ulcer but in case of hemophilus ducrei we have painful genital ulcer theek hai understood hmm now next what happens where this hemophilus is grown ab hemophilus ko grow kaha pe karte hai it grows in chocolate agar the culture media used for hemophilus is kya hai aapka chocolate agar is used as a culture culture media for hemophilus now one thing two terms we have to learn here two terms we have to learn theek hai kya hai when tissue biopsy is done tissue biopsy you might have heard about biopsy if you are in second year you might have heard but you must you might have not known much about biopsy so you would be learning more about it in your third year theek hai tissue biopsy mein kya hota hai tissue biopsy plus staining karne se humko kuch dikhai deta hai wahan pe if we do tissue biopsy and staining we see something called as tram track appearance theek hai tram track appearance or school of fish appearance we have to remember this too phir se main likh deta hu what will happen if we do tissue biopsy okay and we do staining theek hai to humko kya milega tram track appearance or school of fish appearance theek hai fine understood okay now after hemophilus ducrei theek hai now we will talk about hemophilus influenzae theek hai ducrei ka baat kar liya ducrei kya karta hai it causes sancroid sancroid are soft sore and it causes painful genital ulcer it grows on chocolate agar and on tissue biopsy plus staining it causes tram track appearance or school of fish appearance now we will hear something about hemophilus influenza to hemophilus influenza jo hota hai wo do prakar ka there are two types one is capsulated and other is non capsulated fine so what does capsulated causes capsulated causes invasive diseases theek hai capsulated causes invasive diseases and non capsulated causes non invasive diseases n for n theek hai 
आपको याद रखना पड़ेगा कैप्सुलेटेड इन्वेसिव नॉन कैप्सुलेटेड नॉन इन्वेसिव डिजीजेस तो व्हाट आर दोज इन्वेसिव डिजीजेस इन्वेसिव डिजीजेस जस्ट लाइक मेनेंजाइटिस जस्ट लाइक एपिग्लोटाइटिस हाँ आइटिस होने से क्या है इन्फ्लेमेशन इन्फ्लेमेशन ऑफ द मेनेंजेस Inflammation of the epiglottis. So these are invasive diseases. And non-invasive diseases में क्या आता है? Otitis media. Otitis media. Otitis means something related with the ear. Then sinusitis and lower respiratory tract infection. So let's revise again. Hemophilia influenza में क्या होता है? Capsulated and non-capsulated. It causes invasive disease and non-invasive uh, capsulated causes invasive disease. Non-capsulated causes non-invasive disease. In, what are the invasive disease? Meningitis and epiglottitis. And what are the non-invasive disease? Otitis media, sinusitis and lower respiratory tract infection. Fine. Okay. Done. So now next. Now, we have to read a little more detail about Hemophilus. That Hemophilus influenza shows satellitism. Hmm, what is satellitism? We have to listen to ISRO, NASA. But now, we learn that Hemophilus influenza also shows satellitism. What is this satellitism? Let's so, क्या होता है ये कल्चर मीडिया माय 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 ड्राइंग इज वेरी वेरी पोर प्लीज 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 बेयर विद मी सो दिस इज अ स्ट्रीक ऑफ आपका स्टेफाइल कोकस ओरियस ठीक है सो व्हेन वी ग्रो दिस इन ब्लड अगर इट ग्रोस इन चॉकलेट अगर बट इन ब्लड अगर आल्सो इट ग्रोस ठीक है so we see क्या होता है ये स्टेफाइलोकोकस ओरियस है, but this hemophilus come nearby here, ठीक है? And this is known as satellitism. I'll show you some pictures related to it so that you understand. You know that स्टेफाइलोकोकस ओरियस is beta hemolytic, ठीक है? And it releases factor 10 and factor 5. ठीक है? तो let's see the pictures of satellitism. See this is Staphylococcus aureus and see this Hemophilus influenza. Hemophilus influenza. Hemophilus influenza. I'll show you with a pointer, laser pointer. So see this is Staphylococcus aureus. You can see Staphylococcus aureus and these are the Hemophilus influenza and this is known as satellitism see an area without visible growth यहाँ पे कोई visible growth नहीं है here there is visible growth ठीक है you understood you understood I hope you understood this is the Hemophilus influenza this is the Hemophilus influenza let's again see another picture this is the Staphylococcus aureus and these are the growths of Hemophilus influenza ठीक है Understood? Now next, let's see something more. Uh, there is something called as Leventhal Field Agar. Leventhal Field Agar. Pehle to naam iska yaad kar do. Leventhal Field Agar is used in Hemophilus Influenza. Okay? You not used culture media. It can be used for growing Hemophilus Influenza. Okay? समझ में आया आपको? Now we are done with Hemophilus ducre and Hemophilus आपका क्या? Hemophilus influenza. Now we will learn something more about another Hemophilus by the name of Hemophilus aegypticus. So what does Hemophilus aegypticus causes? It it seems like it has come from Egypt ना? तो Egypt में क्या हुआ? Once you remember it like that. Once you went to Egypt, na, so you went to Egypt and once what happened, 
I was going to Kolkata to appear my PMT mains examination. It was long back, uh, 2000, um, very long back. So, kya hua? I was sitting in the train and by the time, time I reached Kolkata, then there was swelling in my eyes. Swelling in my eyes means uh, there was conjunctivitis. I was unable to see and I had to go to a pair to exam like that. So uh, just remember this incident that uh, Dr. Pranab, he was traveling and he got some uh, problem in his eyes during his examination. So similarly, you remember that you are going to Egypt. Take care and uh, Egypt, uh, yeah, train is not available and by mm, flight you are not going to get uh, you know dust and all those things uh, so whatever it is so you you went to egypt and you got pink eyes okay pink eyes now pink eyes egypt now we have to go after going to egypt now you are going to brazil and after first you you are in india then you went to egypt you got what pink eyes and now you went to brazil okay and you got purpuric fever okay so pink eyes and brazilian purpuric fever is caused by hemophilus egypticus there is nothing hemophilus brazil some nothing like that it is caused by M egypticus only brazilian purpuric fever okay now we will some read something about a group known as Hasek group. Hasek, H A C E K. Hasek group. So these are the normal mouth common cells. Means it is found in the mouth of everyone. Hasek group. So we will learn each letter ka, each alphabet ka. Kya kya in, include karta hai. To H for hemophilus para influenza. Influenza. Thikhe? Then H for hemophila, hemoph, uh, hemophilus aprophilus. And H for hemophilus para aprophilus. So 3 H ke andar 3 a jata hai. Now A. A for aggregate vector. Okay? Okay? You have to remember. See, um, there is no other way na, than to remember these names. It's little tough, I know. But there is no other way than to remember this thing. Okay? Then C. C for kya hota hai? Cardiobacterium um, hominis. Okay, cardiobacterium hominis. E for kya hota hai? Icanella cordens. Hmm. And then K for Kingella kingi. So this is the Hasek group, and they sometimes cause uh, culture negative. They cause they cause culture negative endocardi endocarditis and immunocompromised patients. Okay, understood? So let's do a revision. We are done with hemophilus and we will do a revision. The first thing what we will learn. Kya sikha tha humne? Hemophilus ducre causes chancroid. Chancroid yaad rakhna hai. This is soft sore. We'll do a rapid revision. Okay? Soft sore. I will not write. You, I'll just tell and you remember and you revise in your notes. Uh, Hemophilus ducre causes chancroid. That is soft sore. Painful genital ulcer. Painless genital ulcer is found in apka kya hai? In syphilis. Then Hemophilus ducre is grown on chocolate agar. That is the culture media for Hemophilus ducre. Then kya hota hai? Tissue biopsy, uh, biopsy plus training. We see tram track appearance or school of fish appearance. 
Now Haemophilus influenza. Influenza two types: capsulated, non-capsulated. Capsulated causes invasive diseases like meningitis and epiglottitis, and non-invasive, non-capsulated causes non-invasive diseases like otitis media, sinusitis, and lower respiratory tract infection. Then Haemophilus influenza shows something known as satellitism. ठीक है and satellitism के बारे में we showed you picture that is the picture of satellitism you have to remember this it might come in your uh, NBE exam that is आपका NEET MDS uh, these are the Haemophilus influenza and this is the Staphylococcus aureus this is the Staphylococcus aureus and this is the Haemophilus influenza ठीक है then we heard something about Levinthal fields agar. Then we heard about going to Egypt and having pink eyes, then going to Brazil and having purpuric fever. And then we learned something about the normal mouth common cell, that is the Hasek group. Okay. So I hope you understood uh, the whole topic of hemophilus and you will be able to answer all the questions regarding hemophilus during your examination so for all my friends and students watching me on youtube please do give a like and share this to your friends who need this and uh, please do subscribe to our channel and for any queries please do drop in a mail or contact me at uh, I'll, I'll share you my number Mm, 863-87-863-87-863-87-16926 you can also log into dr pranab p r o n o b o s it's not a okay pranab academy dot in and see the various courses we are offering okay so thank you everyone see you next time